Hello and welcome to MongoDB tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn what is CRUD in MongoDB. So the uh, term CRUD stands for create, read, update and delete documents in a collection in MongoDB. So just a recap of what we have seen the, uh, the architecture of MongoDB. At the top, we have a MongoDB instance. So inside the instance, so instance is nothing, just uh, MongoDB uh, daemon, MongoD daemon, and uh, the mongo.conf file. So inside the instance, we have a database. In one database, there may be one or more collections, those which are analogous to table. Inside the uh, collection, there are one or more documents which may have same kind of field or different kind of fields. So this is our architecture. So when we say CRUD, CRUD stands for create creating the document inside uh, uh, the collections. Uh, read stands for reading uh, the collect, uh, documents inside the collection. Then update, how do we update the documents inside a collection? And then how do we uh, delete uh, uh, that in case of MongoDB? So we'll start with the create operation in a, a collection. So when we uh, create or uh, insert or, or or uh, let's say uh, I wanted to create a, a, a collection, then I can say DB, which is a keyword. So the, we have to fire these things on uh, uh, Mongo shell. So we say DB, which is a keyword dot name of the collection. If the collection doesn't exist, then using this command, the collection will be created then dot, then insert one. That means we are going to insert one uh, document inside this collection. So there are two things which are happening. One is the collection, if it is not existing, it will create. And uh, if the document is not there, then it is going to insert one document. So instead of using uh, one, we can use many in case you wanted to insert more than one document at one point of time. So uh, insert one or insert many they are going to uh, create the uh, collection if it doesn't exist and it is going to insert that uh, the document accordingly whether it is one or many so how do we insert a uh, single or multiple document in mongodb so we have to use uh, uh, this on mongo shell so we, we use with the keyword db uh, dot uh, then the uh, collection name dot insert one then we have uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the circular uh, um, bracket start then we have uh, uh, curly brackets and then in single quotes we give the name of the first field then colon then the value of that field then if we give more field just we have to uh, separate it by comma then we give the name of the uh, uh, second field let's say it is department uh, then we give its value which is separated by colon then we give its value which is it and then let's say it is the third field which is salary in usd let's say it is 10 then we close the curly brackets and then round brackets and then semicolon if we have to display the content of uh, the collection which we have uh, just created what we have to say is on mongo shell db which is a keyword then uh, the uh, dot uh, collection name dot find then we have the round bracket then curly brackets then in the single quotes we have to give the field name let's say the field name is employee name then colon its value if you wanted to display the entire content of that document if you have to use it for uh, multiple documents we will be using db dot uh, the name of the collection dot insert many then the only one difference is there the it will be starting with the uh, the round bracket then we'll have to put it in an array kind of thing so we will be using the square bracket you can see uh, the second bracket is a square bracket and at the end it has to be closed and uh, the value of one document it is closed in this curly bracket from here to here uh, separated by comma then it is the second line uh, second document third fourth fifth sixth seventh so there are seven uh, documents which is getting inserted in employee uh, uh, collection 
then how do we query or read the uh, uh, document so uh, to query or uh, read the document we say uh, db dot uh, collection name then dot uh, find and and then we give round brackets and then in uh, uh, curly brackets uh, uh, we uh, we close it then we give semicolon and if you have to find it according to a particular condition we say db dot uh, uh, collection name dot find and then we started with the round bracket we close it and then in curly bracket we give the condition let's see salary in usd is uh, it should be 10000 it is 10 and uh, specify conditions using query operator let's say i wanted to see all the employees where uh, salary in usd is between 10 to 15 then we will say salary in USD and uh, we give this condition and similarly we give it for the and condition also or we can provide the or condition if we have to update the uh, collection we have uh, db.collection.update1 or update many so this is the syntax db.employee.update1 uh, we give the condition like uh, salary in USD is 10 and then we, we set it uh, salary in USD should be 10.5 like this it will be updated and then when you say db. Uh, collection name dot find it will display you the uh, updated value if you have to delete the document uh, we simply say db. collection dot uh, delete uh, many it will it is going to delete uh, all the uh, document in one shot or if you say delete one it will be deleting one by one uh, the order it has got inserted the, the way it will be deleted and then in the last we will see the demo so let's get started with the demo let me close it out and everything is there on a notepad we are going to follow this so the first thing which we are going to do is uh, we'll say show dbs and uh, we'll create one database which is my db so we'll say uh, use my db so this db will be created if it already doesn't exist so we are switched to that just say db and it will show you to which database you are connected to now we are going to create a collection so let's say db dot employee dot uh, insert one so what this will do it will create a, a collection with the name employee and it will insert the value it will put uh, the round brackets uh, like this and uh, then we will put uh, the curly bracket like this and uh, we will close it and now we will put the value let's say uh, the first value is uh, employee underscore name let's say employee underscore name the first name is Avi then uh, we we say the uh, the second field is department in the same uh, document and department name is it and then we are going to give the third field the third field which we are giving is uh, put it in salary in usd uh, put the colon uh, let's say it is 10 10 uh, 10 it is 10,000 I'm just making it 10 and just insert it so you can say acknowledged true insert inserted ID this is the one so let's see how it is inserted we will say DB dot uh, EMP which is the collection name dot uh, find and if we give uh, round brackets you can see that this is the object id which is a unique id then employee name department salary in usd we can do it like uh, this also wherein if you have to put some condition let's say uh, as of now it is one uh, content only or if i say um, employee underscore name let's say i'm querying for rv so it will display anything other than this uh, 
let's say any other name it is not going to display because that doesn't exist now what we are going to do is we are going to insert uh, more number of rows uh, using uh, the uh, the uh, we will put it in a notepad and we will copy paste from there so I'm putting it on the notepad so that it is easy to add it oh. <laughs> let me copy it from here so it should be copied by now yes so we'll say db dot emp insert one instead of insert one we will say insert many and we will put here uh, this is square bracket and we will close here because we have uh, more values to feed in uh, this is the square bracket and uh, like this way we are going to insert seven rows one two three four five six seven the first one we will say it is employee one department is it salary in usd is uh, 10.1 the second one is employee two department it uh, salary 10.2 then this is employee three and uh, uh, this is 10.3 we are just uh, putting some random values uh, employee four department is uh, let's say finance and salary in usd is let's say 11 then emp5 five, employee five department is finance and salary in usd is 11.1 and then employee six department is HR salary in USD is let's say 12 and again employee 7 EMP 7 department let's say it is HR and salary in USD is 15 as it is head of HR and there shouldn't be unnecessary spacing I hope everything is fine so let me if there are some spacing problems then also it causes uh, issue so db dot emp dot insert many and if everything is fine it will show you it's all great let me clear the screen and I will cop we will copy from here and we will paste it Oh, this is acknowledged true that means it has inserted so many rows so we will simply say db.emp.find and uh, this will display like uh, there are eight rows one two three four five six seven eight rows are inserted so this is how do we do the insertion uh, once the insert is done then let's uh, how do we read it so the first thing which we are going to see is select all documents in a collection so to read all the uh, documents in a collection we'll say db which is a keyword then the uh, collection name then the keyword find and then we give the round brackets and this will display everything so this, this is the first thing then uh, how do we uh, say the uh, uh, find a particular value so we'll say let's say i wanted to see uh, the uh, the who all are there in hr department so i'll, I'll say find and then in uh, curly brackets we'll say uh, department uh, colon hr so this will show uh, all the uh, employees who are on, in department hr Oh, there is okay 
so what uh, this we have to give the uh, condition the condition is uh, department colon HR uh, in in here uh, I have not given the curly bracket that's why it has not displayed the content you can see that there were two outcome uh, there were two people in HR so it has mentioned uh, the details over here let's see the next condition wherein we will see uh, using some operators let's say greater than equal to or uh, uh, less than uh, this kind of thing so let us see who all are having salary greater than uh, let's say 11 so we will say db dot uh, emp db is a keyword emp is a, a collection then we will say find which is like search and then curly brackets start then we will say uh, uh, we wanted to give the condition uh, salary in usd colon then we will give the uh, the condition and we give the condition like uh, greater than then we give uh, it is 11 and uh, we have closed the curly brackets and uh, round brackets and that should be fine so we have three people who are having a salary greater than 11 USD it is not 11 it should be 11,000 USD so let's see a condition where in we give uh, not greater than let's let's say less than so we have one two three four people so we will say less than so we have one two three four or we can say equal to as well I think it is EQ only anything um, a salary equal to 11 so we have one value so that is fine and uh, so we have seen less than greater than equal to and uh, uh, what else uh, let's see the uh, the uh, the way we update the document how do we update the document so what we wanted to do is we wanted to update the salary of everyone who is uh, 10 uh, and it will be updated from 10 to uh, 10 to 10.5 so we will say uh, db which is a keyword dot uh, 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 emp collection name dot uh, uh, we'll say update one we wanted to update uh, one entry and uh, we'll give the condition uh, let's give the condition salary in USD salary in USD and the value is 10 close it and okay we have to put it in notepad because the moment I uh, press enter it will go to next line and that is like uh, end of this one so we will use this so we'll say DB dot EMP update one salary in USD is 10 then we have to set say dollar set and it will set the uh, 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 to let's say 10.6 so what this is going to do um, anyone uh, uh, or uh, uh, let's say it is for 15 uh, the one who is having the salary 15 it is going to change it to 15.1 So let's find uh, who is having that value. So db dot emp dot find. I'll say salary in USD, and uh, we are uh, looking for fifteen. And I haven't mentioned uh, the curly brackets. So here should be the curly bracket and here should be curly bracket and 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 the round brackets and closure so there is one person who is having the salary greater than 15 so we are going to update it and uh, we are saying db dot update one uh, salary from 
10 to, uh, 15 to 15 point one so it is uh, the keyword is update one and we have to say dot uh, dollar set uh, and if this will change the uh, content of that so now let's say 15.1 and we have only one value that is 15.1 it is updated or we can simply say db dot update dot find so you have value change from 15 to 15.1 so if you wanted to do it for many we can do it as well so the only thing which we have to change it and there should be many values for that if it is not one if it is not that then it is going to not work so uh, let's let me try with that m a n y and the condition which we are searching first is department let's say department is it so anybody who is there in the it set its value from 10 to 13 now let me see if anybody is having that uh, value or not it department d is a small that's why it has not taken so let me change it department So matched count four, there were four people in the IT department, one, two, three, four, and it has changed their salary from 10 to 13. So this should show now. Yeah, so it has it has done the mass update and it has changed the value from 10 to 13. Now the last one in this is how do we delete a, a document? So the keyword is EMP dot, uh, uh, sorry, they delete one and delete many. So we'll say, uh, db dot let's say I wanted to delete uh, someone who is having uh, the salary 15.1 or employee 7 uh, uh, details I wanted to delete so db dot emp dot uh, delete one then will give the condition and the condition will give is let's give the condition employee underscore name if it is employee 7 then delete its content uh, employee 7 so we, we are going to delete this particular um, what do you say the document the round brackets and so one document is deleted now just see the content of the collection employee collection and uh, employee 7 is deleted and we can give more conditions like uh, someone who is having the salary equal to 13 if you wanted to delete that we can delete that so find the doc uh, find uh, who is having the salary 13 so we'll give the curly brackets and we'll say uh, salary in USD thirteen, so we are finding. Oops. So what we have to say is these curly brackets. Okay, db dot emp dot find round brackets curly bracket starts then we will say uh, salary in USD and then we will say uh, it should be 13 if the value is 13 then let's go and find all of them so there are four people having the uh, salary 13 so what we are going to do is we are going to delete it so instead of find, I will say delete many. D E L E 
T E M A N Y. And that's it. Oh, M should be in caps. So So four records are deleted. If we query the previous find statement, it is not going to give you anything. Or you simply say uh, find all the contents of this particular collection, you will not see anything with the 13. So this is, if we have to delete everything, you say db.emp. Uh, I think it is uh, delete many and in brackets you give it and it's going to delete everything. Delete many. Okay, let me see what was it. Delete many, delete one, delete many. And, 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 and I think I have not listed that one. So let me go back to the document. Okay, it was delete many only. DB dot EMP dot. Let me delete it one by one. Okay, I have to give the condition, I believe. Delete many, let's say, I'm saying the um, employee name, EMP underscore name, oops db dot emp dot delete many then I'll say um, m a n y round brackets curly brackets then I say uh, department in single quotes let's say if I give the condition uh, finance FIN then this is going to delete that as well yes and finally if I wanted to delete the last one let's see which one is uh, pending now so this is the only one so this is how we work on the uh, different things so we have seen how do we how do we create a document using uh, uh, insert command db dot uh, uh, what do we say uh, db dot collection name dot uh, insert one or insert many uh, this is the way we can insert uh, the collection insert the document in the collection then we uh, we have seen how do we use the find command uh, db dot collection name dot find and then you can give the condition then we have seen db dot collection name dot uh, uh, dot uh, update how do we update the uh, document then finally we have seen how to delete them so this is uh, this is somewhat different from your uh, if you have worked on rdbms uh, uh, then firing the command on rdbms is slightly easier uh, because uh, it is it is i feel it is easier uh, but once once you have uh, some kind of uh, uh, hands on on um, CRUD, which is create, read, update, and delete a statement in MongoDB, it is going to be very, very easy. I hope uh, this demo is going to be useful, and uh, thanks for watching.